Hello, good morning from Sharon. And uh, I've got some birthdays and baptism anniversary today, so let's get on with that. Uh, first of all, it was Charlie's birthday this week, and Charlie, you're now nine years old. I can't believe it. So congratulations, and I hope you had a lovely day. And Emily, you've had your birthday, oh, your birthday's tomorrow. So happy birthday for tomorrow, and you're going to be 12. Well done. And the final one for this week is a baptism anniversary for Ellie, and it's nine years since your baptism. So congratulations. Have a great day, everyone. And here's some birthday bubbles for Charlie and Emily. Right, so the story today is going to be quite exciting as it involves water. So I thought rather than get a craft for you to make this week, I want to encourage you to get out in the garden if it's a sunny day, get the hose out, get the water pistols out, or paddling pool, play with the water, have some fun. You could even use the bathtub inside if it's not on such a nice day as it could be. And just explore water and think about all the ways that we use it for all the different things in life that we need water. And so our Bible story for this week is Jesus and the Samaritan woman. The Pharisees heard that Jesus was winning and baptising more disciples than John. Actually, Jesus himself didn't actually baptise anyone, only his disciples did. So when Jesus heard what was being said, he left Judea and went back to Galilee. And on his way there, he had to go through Samaria. In Samaria, he came to a town named Sychar, which was not far from the field that Jacob had given to his son Joseph. Jacob's well was there, and Jesus, tired out by the trip, sat down by the well. It was about noon. A Samaritan woman came to draw some water, and Jesus said to her, Give me a drink of water. The woman answered, You are a Jew, and I am a Samaritan, so how can you ask me for a drink? Because Jews and Samaritans could not use the same cups. Jesus answered, if you only knew what God gives and who it is that he's asking you for a drink, you would ask him and he would give you life-giving water. Sir, the woman said, you don't have a bucket and the well is deep. Where would you get that life-giving water? It was our ancestor Jacob who gave us this well. He and his children and his flocks all drank from it. You don't claim to be greater than Jacob, do you? Jesus answered, Those who drink this water will get thirsty again. But those who drink from the water I will give them will never be thirsty again. The water that I will give them will become in them a spring which will provide them with life-giving water and give them eternal life. Sir, the woman said, Give me that water, then I will never be thirsty again, nor will I have to come here to draw water. Go and call your husband, Jesus told her, and come back. Well, I don't have a husband, she answered. Well, Jesus replied, you are right when you say you do not have a husband. You have been married to five men, and the man you live with now is not really your husband. You have told me the truth. I see you are a prophet, sir, the woman said. My Samaritan ancestors worshipped God on this mountain, but you Jews say Jerusalem is the place where we should worship God. Jesus said to her, Believe me, woman, the time will come when people will not worship the Father either on this mountain or in Jerusalem. You Samaritans do not really know whom you worship, but we Jews know whom we worship, because it is from Jews that salvation comes. But the time is coming and is already here when by the power of God's Spirit people will worship the Father as he really is, offering him the true worship that he wants. God is Spirit and only by the power of his Spirit can people worship him as he really is. The woman said to him, I know that the Messiah will come and when he comes he will tell us everything. Jesus answered, I am he, I, who am talking with you. 
At that moment, Jesus' disciples returned, and they were greatly surprised to find him talking with a woman. But none of them said to her, What do you want? Or asked him, Why are you talking with her? Then the woman left her water jar, went back to the town, and said to the people there, Come and see the man who told me everything I have ever done. Could he be the Messiah? So they left the town and went to Jesus. And now Sandra's going to share some thoughts on that story.